Hi guys, so I decided to make a stocking stuffer idea um, video. Um, so if you have had a hard time coming with ideas for things to put in your child's stockings, uh, check this video out. And um, some of the stuff I did show and talk about in my What I Got My Kid for Christmas um, haul sharing video, which I'll link below. Uh, but I did add a few things, and then some of these things are stocking stuffers from past years or things that I just think would be good, good stocking stuffers. Um, so if you're interested, check this video out. Thanks for watching. All right, so obviously you're going to need a stocking. This is Olivia's stocking. It's like a little penguin. Um, and of course, um, in a stocking, it seems like, you know, like a bit of a tradition that you have to include some sort of treat in it. Um... I try not to go too crazy, um, but I mean, you could really put anything in here. You could put healthy things in a stocking. It doesn't have to be candy. Um, you can put in like their favorite gummies. She really likes these Mott's ones. Um, she could put like some of these. She also really likes goldfish. Um, they come in like all these cute containers. They have ones with um, like the traditional regular fish, and then there's ones with like fish with Santa hats on it. This one just has, um, like a little princess on it. <laughs> I thought it would just be fun. Um, they might also be tinted a different color. I don't know. I never bought, like, the princess ones before, so. Um, got some of those. A little carton. Then there's a, oh, it looks like they got crushed a little bit. Um, kind of, they're not M&M's, but they're, like, Hershey's M&M's, so candy-coated little chocolate pieces in like a candy cane shape. And Lydia really likes Pez. We only get her for, or excuse me, the Easter Bunny and Santa are like the, really the only people we get them for her because they're basically just little tablets of sugar. Um, but I, they had these at Target, these tubes with, um, it would have a like a Christmas themed Pez character. This one I chose the snowman um, and it has like the little um, fillers for the Pez throughout it. So those are um, some ideas for treats that you put in your kid's stocking. Um, you could literally just do like one like little chocolate like Santa or just like a small little treat. I don't think it's important to like make the whole stocking just full of candy. That's like too much. Um, another thing that you can put in their stocking is just things that they need or um, that are practical, like a toothbrush that is of, like, their favorite character. This one is a My Little Pony one. It's an electric toothbrush. She's never had an electric toothbrush before. Um, we've always gotten, like, ones that light up and that are the manual ones. We brush her teeth uh, to make sure that she they fully get clean. Um, but she really likes My Little Pony. Um, so that, that would be, like, a fun little thing to put in there. Um, she needed a new toothbrush anyways. Um, and then she's into, like, put, like, having nail polish put on and nail things. So Walmart had, like, these dollar decorative nail stickers. And they also had a lot of little things, like, um, children's, like, bubble bath and shampoos and stuff and all, like, different themed characters, like Paw Patrol and Disney princesses. So, um, I know this is more of, like, a girl item, but, um, you can always switch it out with something like that, like, um, bubble bath, you know. And then this is, like, a little cosmetic set, which is just some cherry lip balms, cherry vanilla lip balm, a couple of nail polishes, nail stickers, and some hair clips. Um, you can even put in, like, a hairbrush, um, or just hair clips in general, hair ties, things that your child needs, um, but just throw it in your stocking. I mean, it's something practical that they need. Uh, not everything in stocking has to be like candy and toys. I also like to include like activities, something creative that the child can play with. Um, so things like coloring books. This is a Rudolph one from the dollar store, so it's just pages of some of the characters, activities, um, 
So if you can manage to fit this in your kid's stocking, you can put it in. Um, these play packs um, from the dollar store. Uh, I think you can also get these at like Walmart and Target. Um, but only like a dollar. And they're really good on the go. Like if you're going to a restaurant and the child's like really young. Um, at like a party where there's not many other kids for the child like the child to play with. Um, and inside they have all different sorts of characters, but there's like stickers. You can clearly see this one's been used for. Um, comes with a pack of crayons in there, little activity booklets. This is well loved by Lydia. So that's an idea, you know, something definitely useful that they can use. And the dollar store and um, places like Walmart and stuff, they have educational things like flashcards that you can put in. Maybe your child's um, or children need to learn their alphabet or their numbers. Um, they have all sorts of ones, like even like sight words ones. I know in like the dollar spot at Target, I've gotten some of those for the kids that I work with and they seem to um really be into them and they're really educational so they have all sorts of ones depending on your child's ages like u.s president's ones uh, math ones you know um things that they can really use to help further their um education so that's an idea target also has um great uh little puzzle sets and stuff like this one is all opposite so it's like in out um, front back stuff like that um, you can see some of the pairs on the back uh, I think it's like day night um, again like another educational item um, that you can just throw in your child's stocking and they're they're fun little puzzles I'm also a big fan of these puzzle in the go packs there's all different sorts of difficulties there's some that are only like 24 pieces um, this one's like 48, so it's a little bit bigger, pieces are a little bit smaller, <laughs> um, and they all fit in this little, like, zippered, um, like, Ziploc kind of bag. So this one we haven't opened yet. Um, but you can throw that in a stocking, um, in your child's favorite character, some TV show that they're into, and, um, it's a great little activity that they can do on the go or at home, um. Lydia is a big fan of puzzles, and so am I. Another item you can put in your child's stocking is maybe a movie they're looking forward to. Um, Finding Dory just came out, um, so I'm sure a lot of kids are getting that for Christmas, either from Santa or um, their parents. So um, Finding Dory is a, a new movie. Secret Life of Pets came out this year. Lydia likes this movie, DC Superhero Girls. We haven't owned it. Um, we've, like, rented it. So she'll be excited when Santa, um, she finds out Santa left this in her stocking. Um, but, uh, yeah, again, like a, like a DVD, um, or maybe like a small book, uh, if the child's younger, the board books tend to be like that kind of dimension. Um, you could stick that in their stocking as well. And of course, you have to put some sort of toy in your child's stocking. It's not all about education and stuff like that. Um, but so there's obviously you could go with like the stocking stuffer ones that are in the aisles of like Target, Walmart, and stuff like that. Here are a couple items I found from there. This was in the Target dollar spot. These little snow globey um, type characters. This one is a snowman. I also have one that I use for work that's like a little bear. Um, I think they had a Santa one. Um, I thought this was cute. So, um, just a big bouncy ball. And then this is a hit with some of the kids that I work with. Um, these little squeaky hammers that also are um, have bubbles inside. So it's like, um, you know, big for your buck. This was only a dollar. Um, so you can either just put bubbles in your child's stocking or... Um, <laughs> I think it's called a giggle stick. Um, that's what I've kind of found online. Or this is called bubble noise maker. <laughs> but it's like a silly little thing. I understand you may not want to put it in your child's stocking because it's like a noisy item. Um, 
but just an idea. It's like a silly thing that they're probably going to end up breaking, but <laughs> um, you can spend a lot of money on it. For children into ponies is, of course, like the little My Little Ponies that come in big packs. So if you have multiple children that are into My Little Ponies or just ponies in general, um, you can just get a, a pack of them and like split them up amongst the stockings. I think this is Applejack. Like different from like the um, Friendship is Magic kind of looking Applejack. But um, so there's that. Or, like, I don't think I've ever met a child that's not into cars. So there's, of course, Hot Wheels cars. They sell these separately. Or, um, again, if you have multiple children that are into Hot Wheels cars, you just open up one of these packs, distribute it amongst them all, or just put this one big thing in your child's stocking if they're really into cars. So there's always that option. Hot Wheels cars. Or something like this, like if they're into Paw Patrol, um, this whole thing is probably not going to fit in the stocking, but you can break it out of its packaging, put the dog in the little badge in, and, um, you know, you're good to go, you're in business. And as for Lydia, this is going into her stocking this year. She's really into Zoom Zooms. She doesn't have the plush Zoom Zooms. Um, I think it's always cute to put, like, some sort of, like, plush little animal when I was a child. Beanie Babies were, like, a thing. So I always got, like, a Beanie Baby in my stocking that, that was kind of, like, peeking out of it. Um, she's going to get this plush Elsa Zoom Zoom. So she has a lot of like the little figures and um, we got her some of the figures for her Christmas gifts um, that you can see in like the haul video that I did. But this will be like a little toy item that will be hanging out of her stocking. And I guess that's it guys. <laughs> so those are just my quick ideas for items that you can put in your child's stocking. I hope I didn't talk too fast. I wanted to make it like a short, concise video because I tend to like ramble and go on but um I thank you guys for watching and I will be making um gift guides for um just uh stockings for um just men and women or guys and girls that'll be a video and then I'll be making gift idea videos for um ideas for like what to get uh children in general <laughs> if you're having trouble um deciding what to get people and um i just want to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys soon bye